the song of life. Destroy us all! Welcome back. Yakuza. We haven't even finished Yakuza 4 yet. Cut good, that. Good luck with that shit. Welcome to Yakuza 6. Uh, the song of life. Uh, brand new game. Neither of us have played it yet. So we're gonna hop into, uh... Game settings? Uh, I gotta check out the game settings first. Subtitles. Why would you ever hide them? Normal maybe your maybe your gap. Gamma movement speed, gamma brightness, blah. See look it. Game's got a gamma and a brightness setting. How come other games don't have that? Alright, whatever. All that stuff's pretty good. Yeah, it's fucking whatever. Uh, yeah. That should be good. Let's do it. Do it on normal. The good thing is, is I'm pretty sure... Okay, never mind. Alright, sweet. Oh, this one's the first one that's got an autosave feature. Look at that. Hmm. Yakuza has finally reached the modern day of, of games. Patriarch and head of Yakuza family, single corporate Yakuza organization. I'm hoping that they don't reference a bunch of stuff from Yakuza 5 because uh, Billy, you haven't seen that one. Nope. I think to the end. I played it and beat it and I don't remember a damn thing about it. If I recall, at the end um, Kiru got stabbed again. Yeah, I have think or something. That's what I remember happening vaguely. The life of Yakuza. Yeah. Mm. It's funny because I just finished Yakuza Zero, and that one takes place before the uh, the first game. And it's funny seeing him being old and grizzled again. Yeah. Because he's a young boy in that one. He's like twenty years old or something. Hello. Why? That's not very nice. I like her. Why does everybody always pick a fight with me? <laughs> hey man, I was fucking drinking that. He's trying to dip his ween in his Yeah. <laughs> What a fruit. He's a classic gay. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Just <laughs> That's what he actually wants yeah. to do with Kira. <laughs> like, you're a handsome man. Jinga Chow. Stop it, I can't. Dennis says there's lots of cats. Yeah. I bet there is. Okay. I'm the tutorial. <laughs> My name is Tutorial Sama. <laughs> He's gonna take off his shirt. Like, He's gonna have a hippo on his back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be oh shit, you're a Yakuza. Oh shit! Only Yakuza have tattoos on their back. It's pretty cool because in Yakuza Zero, when you play as Kido, he doesn't have like the 
signature move set that you have in all the other games. But then if you do like all these like uh, special side quest things, you um, actually unlock the old style, which is pretty cool. Beat me up! He's got a big health bar. Mm-hmm. Ow. You're supposed to dodge the attack, Taylor. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this That's is actually how you this is win a old, fight. Well, this is definitely different than... At least, like, they, they definitely put more, like, um... Kind of physics-based stuff in this. Because, like, normally, like, I think he just, uh... Like bumped up against the wall, and it's like normally they don't do that at all. Yeah. I think there's like ragdoll. Looks like shit, man. <laughs> They're coming in the 31st century. Oh shit, son! It's like Uber mode or some shit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That was me dying a little. <laughs> no, I meant, I meant me kicking him in the face. Oh, that was the sound of him getting kicked in the face. <laughs> Extreme heat mode. Press R2 to burst into flames and awaken the dragon of Dojima. And that's one of the I believe I that's it. pronounced Dajima. However, <laughs> Do Dojima. <laughs> yeah, the J is silent. Pain won't even phase you, so it's a perfect It's like one marijuana. The J is silent. It's an H. I don't have a burp for that one. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, okay, that's actually cool. They have a... They have a, um... A fight... Uh, or, or, like, a st fighting style in, um... Yakuza 0, where it's... I think it's called Slugger or something like that. Or, no, Beast Mode. And then, like, if you just do normal attacks, you pick up items around you and you use them as weapons. Oh. So you don't even have to, you don't even have to go up to it and hit like pick up. It just you it. actually just pick it. Yeah, you actually just pick it up. I mean, they actually had a lot of like physics based stuff in this game. Mm. He did. This guy's getting on my nerves. He's like ragdoll. <laughs> he's like <laughs> you kicked him in the back of the neck, so he's just like he's, oh. yeah, he's seizing on the ground. <laughs> Okay, we can go again. I'll kick you in the face. Let me power bomb you on the concrete. My favorite video game is coming out right now, and I need to go pick it up. Can I pause this? Cool! Let's so double check. Usually the games are pretty lenient with being able to pause and skip cutscenes. You know what's stupid though? Is like all of the optional dialogue for like the sub stories you can't skip no matter what. But like any of the major like important cutscenes you can skip. Which I think is really stupid. Is it a kitty? Oh, it's cocaine. No, that's baking soda, clearly. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was the sound of the guy getting hit in the back of the neck and shitting himself. It's instant bread. Boop. <laughs> Have you ever, um, I, I swear, I, I, I... Oh, it's baby formula, okay. Ah! It's feeding time. Oh, it's, uh, it's Cry Rape Girl. No. You sure? Yeah, because she helps you take care of a baby in this game. Oh. But you look really young with the hair. Are you sure? I... I don't know. I don't think he had... I think that's Cry Rape Girl. Maybe it is. Because this looks like he's young. Could be. And then, like, later... Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, you just, you just said it. Yep. It's Cry Rape Girl. I forget how old she was when, um... Uh... No, see, this says four years prior. 
since that's what we're used prior, so you're gone. You raise a baby in this game. But why does he look so young? I don't know. Maybe because it's the, the leap to Super HD. Alright, so this is like what happened at the end of Yakuza 5. Um, she was performing in like an idol concert. That's what she became, was like an idol. Yeah. And um, I forgot why exactly, but they were trying to kill her. Or they had She had some people after her that wanted to kill her. So like there's a sniper dude. Sniping... Her. He's like about to snipe her, but then like you play as one of the guys and you fight and stop him. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. I'll save one girl. Yeah, I forgot why. I think she was like a witness or something like that to uh, something. I forgot exactly what happened. The story in Yakuza Vibe obviously a is big just, fat cock in my butt is just as convoluted and complex as any other fucking Yakuza game. What are you doing? Hitting yours. Stop flopping your flipping. <clears throat> My goddamn flop. He's my dad. Dad, that's not biological. Yeah, so he was. Dad. Yeah, so like, this is literally the ending of Yakuza 5. You fight a dude and you're like all injured and shit. And then, yeah, you're like walking around in the streets. Like dying, and then she, she finds, finds you, you and fucks you up, and then she, she fucking saves ends you. your life. No, and then she saves you or whatever. This is literally, literally, this is where the game ends. Like you don't see what happens after this. You know, and that's funny too because I think a lot of people now that they have like PS4 games because everybody's got a PS4 now, right? Mm -hmm. They buy these games because they've heard about them. They're like, oh, I'll check it out. And they buy it, and then, like, this is happening, and everyone's probably like, what is going on? <laughs> Luckily, they have the memories thing at the beginning of the game, but we haven't watched those. I'm not your dad. That's why I called your uncle. And she's not, my, and she's not your mom. No, dog. And then his other hand comes out <laughs> and covers hers. Come, oh, no, no, no. Come on, man. I don't want no fucking. Now she's gonna cry rape me. The fuck is this? That's how it happens. I That's how they do it. You I'll pass it on from victim <laughs> to victim. Pass it on. It was well, well. It was pay it forward day, yesterday or today or whatever. So. Pay it, pay the Nobody paid rate. it forward for me. Pay, pay the cry rate forward. Oh, I thought she had a smartphone. I thought she was going to take a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it looked like she had. The phones are fucking huge now. This is my dad. This is my dad. <laughs> He's not really my dad, but I love him like my dad. Hey, we know him. Hey. Sorry, I had to deal with a couple of women. I like how they turned him into like kind of a major character. I like him. Soon Akiyama. He's a cool dude. <laughs> I did tie it up and it broke. <laughs> Good for you. Funny he how, looks even younger too. Yeah, I know. I, it's probably just the update in the graphics, honestly. I think they just gave everyone dyed hair. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe got it. Yeah, he does look younger too. It's like here's some Rogaine for men. Mm, yeah, Rogaine that actually fucking works. Might be a while till things. Calm down a little. You know what? I think I mentioned it in the in Yakuza Four, our Yakuza Four playthrough. It's like the intro to these games, like the opening, is always so odd because mm -hmm. it's like who, who would think that's like a lot, like you know, an exciting start to the game. Like they they do not uh, start to ratchet up in terms of like you know what's going on until like way later. Like, you have to spend a couple hours in the game before the actual, like, you know, story Yeah, before picks up. shit actually goes. Yeah, like, the opening is always super, super slow. That's, that's Japanese. Is it? Mm -hmm. is, that, is that a Japanese thing? 
Yeah, they're not, you know, they're a slow build kind of people. Yeah. Oh my god. You, you remember got fucking that? Hulk in the left. Yeah, did you, do you remember that? Like, that was from Yakuza 3 where we had to watch the kids, like mm-hmm. there was the orphanage. Well, oh, that's like, that feels like so long ago. I remember, because Yakuza, they had the Yakuza 3 demo. Mm-hmm. I remember we played that shit constantly. So good. Oh god, they're... Oh. oh. Oh, they're still together. That's cool. You play as that guy in Yakuza 0. Go to Majima. Majima. And you remember Taiga Sai... Seijima. Saijima. That's him. Dude, that's like all he's ever amounted to, is he just friggin' served time in jail. <laughs> he got his hair cut. Yeah. Because he was... He, he had to break out of prison again in the in, in Yakuza 5. Hey, it's Date. <laughs> We're bros. No doubt. I gotta see the man in the flesh. I love his video games. Give me my inhaler. I don't remember what that's all about. Just give him an inhaler, dude. He starts fucking scatting, man, dude. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the fucking scat, man. Family. When am I going to be able to play the game? Term, single, Yakuza unit, large, small, patriarch. That's right. That is correct. <laughs> Kaz McHugh has been arrested on excitement charges. And runs my back to public approval. <laughs> Date. He's, I think he's been in it since the first game, actually. Mm-hmm. This is a little weird. We're just like... Oh, because I'm skipping it. Yeah. yeah I'll just, I mean, Look at this in-game engine. I was going to say, yeah. I might as well not skip it anyway. Do you, I'm not going on a date with you. So far, this entire first episode has pretty much just been cutscenes. <laughs> yeah, that's Yakuza. I know. I want to run around and go sing karaoke and shit. Well, you gotta wait for four years because oh, you clearly have a baby <laughs> four years from now. So you're at least out of jail. Obviously, let the, these first couple of episodes run a little long. Yakuza legend. He's fought so many shirtless dudes over his lifespan. That's how every game ends. <laughs> shirtless fight. Shirtless fight on some sort of elevated position. That's how Yakuza Zero ends. <laughs> Who's been in a coma? I've kissed his lips plenty of times. <laughs> Every time he's in the hospital like this, I 
I wait by his bedside and kiss his lips every hour <laughs> until he wakes up. <laughs> I've given him 69 kisses. History of the Tojo Clan. Oh, shit. Details. Now I'm in a fucking VR. Yeah, this is pretty much how VR looks. You're dead. Mm. Oh, sorry. I put a, I put a vibe on your face. <laughs> I got a vignette on your face. Oh man, it's like Kingdom Hearts all of a sudden. I must still be alive if they're here with me. How did you deduce that? Because they're alive. <laughs> should I talk to any of them? Should I just go? You should talk. Uncle Kaz, a girl who was orphaned by the only woman I ever loved. I remember she was a child caught in the middle of a brutal Yakuza war. The only orphan's born again. Oh, this is just a recap for anybody who doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Mm. Might as well read it. Catch us up on everything. Yeah. Majima song. No matter how many times we fought since I retired, I can still never get a read on him. For whatever reason, he, our fates are tied. These days, he's made a name for himself as a high ranking official of the Tojo clan. His own brother, Tegu Sage, man. Hi, my name's Tegu Sage, man. But the, he used to be a lead police detective, but now he's a career as great to real when he met me over the years. I know he's a little friend. I guess his daughter alone is a single father. I respect date, blah, blah, blah. Keep fighting justice. Justice. Hello. Tojo clan, he was said to have killed 18 of his foes. He actually dead in spoilers. When we first met, Ciro was on the lam as a prison escapee. After confronting the truth of the 18 murders, he started as a sage in the family of the Tojo clan, but he got sucked into an Omi Alliance plot in 2012 after escaping prison again. One of those were targeted as representatives of the Tojo clan. Okay. Spoilers. Yeah, we spoiled that in the first episode of our series of four playthrough. He didn't kill him. Oh, these are all the orphans. Yeah, all the orphans. It's hard to describe how much I've got these kids at home. I'm going to bring the piece again. There's something I need to do. Something that will take a long time. I need to jerk off. I need to take a shit. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm the CEO of the Kalaracha base on Cafe Skyfire. Sure sure not got me. He was apparently a banking lead until he was training for embezzlement. <laughs> it hit him so hard that he was even homeless for his time after investing a small windfall. His new net worth is now over a hundred billion. I first met him through Yasuko when Haruko was working as an owner. He watched over her in my place. He's a good guy. Yeah. And this is Daigo Dojima. Hi. The only son of Sohei Dojima, right? Tokyo, Even though Daigo wanted to distance himself from the underworld, I forced him back into action as the sixth chairman of the Tojo Clan. If anyone can unify the 20,000 members of the Tojo Clan, Daigo Dojima is the only one who is the Okay, cool. So now we've firmly been established what. Is, who's well, who? What is up in the butt? Yeah, who's who and where's where, and who's queer and all of them. Fuck you, <laughs> all of them, all queers. Can I pause this too? Okay. And then if you wait one hour, Date just. <laughs> Hello. You look like you have to poop. <laughs> I do have to poop. Yeah, yeah. So, maybe I need some fresh air while we talk. All right. Well, Billy, read it. Come around. All right, well, next time with Chin Strap Traps, we'll catch up on this. I gotta go pee. At least those are some pretty good load times. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm.